At the start of the episode, we see Inspector Zhang and his colleagues trying to interrogate Dong So. However, despite all their best methods, the latter doesn't want to reveal a single thing. One of the officers becomes enraged and tries to beat up Dong So, but Inspector Zhang calms him down and asks him to leave the room. Following this, he mentions that he knows Dong So is not the killer, but the entire law system thinks otherwise. So, Inspector Zhang warns Dong So that if he wants to live, he will have to confess everything he knows. He even offers to take him upstairs, where they can have a private conversation. Reluctantly, Don So agrees, and the two head towards the roof. There, Don So comes clean and starts explaining everything right from the scratch. He explains that he is a connect which is a human being with special healing abilities. He even goes on to demonstrate his powers by breaking his wrists and repairing them instantly. Detective Jang is left in utter disbelief by what he sees, but nonetheless, he wants Don So to be imprisoned for the time being. However, the latter wants to go as he knows that the killer, Jin Siop, is attempting to kill some children soon. He gets out of his handcuffs and jumps off the building, despite Inspector Jang's best efforts to stop him. On the other hand, looking for answers, Jin Siop heads to the same surgeon that gave him the eye transplant. He knocks the old man out then binds him to a chair. After this, he demands to know the story behind the mysterious eye. Left with no choice, the surgeon starts explaining his side of the story, and the scene cuts to a flashback. Some months ago, a wounded Jin Siop arrived at the surgeon's place to get himself operated on. He also offered to pay a lot of money to keep the operation a secret. The surgeon immediately accepted the deal and put Jin Siop to sleep with anesthesia. He conducted the surgery and saved him. But before applying the stitches, he decided to carry out an experiment. He put Dong So's left eyeball inside Jin Siop to test if it also had healing abilities. Hearing all this, Jin Siop feels betrayed and he finishes off the surgeon instantly. In the next scene, the organ traffickers arrive at the surgeon's hideout but don't find him there. They check the CCTV footage and learn that Jin Siop was there, so the boss assigns a guy named Wu Jin to track Jin Siop every day. Days pass by and Dong So is still in the shadows. He wants to go after the murderer, but doesn't want to get caught by the authorities again. So, in his place, Lisa decides to go after Jin Siop. One night, while she is out finding leads, she notices the organ harvester's spy, Wu Jin, lurking around. Lisa approaches him for answers, but the latter pulls out a knife on her. It appears as if Lisa is about to bite the dust, but surprisingly, she showcases her impressive moves and knocks Wu Jin down in an instant. She also finishes him off for good, so that nobody finds out about her. On the other hand, Dong So gets excited when his favorite musician, X covers his song. On his original song's video, X comments that they should meet someday and perform a duet. As a result, Dong So is over the moon. But just then, his eye starts hurting, and he is contacted by the killer. Jin Siop mentions his number and asks Dong So to call him as soon as possible. Obliging to the request, Dong So dials the number and the two arch nemesis finally talk for the first time. Dong So inquires why the killer is doing all this, and the latter reveals that he is dying of cancer and doesn't have many days to live. So, he is going out with a bang. Before hanging up, he also discloses that his killing spree has just begun, and that he will contact Dong So again. Meanwhile, Inspector Jang and his colleagues find Wu Jin's corpse in a stream, along with some camera footage of Jin Siop. This finally makes them suspect that Jin Siop is up to something. Later, Lisa approaches Dong So in an abandoned cinema hall and reveals something shocking. She makes a small cut on her chest, and surprisingly, it heals itself. This indicates that she is also a connect. Seeing this, Dong So is taken aback, but soon he becomes happy realizing that there are others like him. The two then hold hands and embrace each other with a kiss. Elsewhere, the killer, Jin Siop, picks his next victim. He disguises himself as Dong So and kidnaps the famous musician, X, from a parking lot. In the next scene, we see Jin Siop torturing X with different techniques. After bashing him up, he contacts Dong So and shows him the brutal condition of his favorite singer. He then threatens Dong So to arrive at a location at 11 p.m., or else X will be killed. Meanwhile, the organ traffickers track Dong So at his hideout and surround the building. Fortunately, Lisa knows a secret way from which he can escape while she distracts the bad guys. Dong So is reluctant to leave her alone. But when Lisa keeps insisting, he agrees. After Dong So leaves, the organ traffickers approach Lisa and start attacking her. She puts up a good fight, but in the end, the guys outnumber her and tie her up. They then interrogate her about Dong So but as expected, Lisa doesn't say anything. Because of this, one of the guys gets enraged and slices a part of her face. 
To their surprise, Lisa heals herself instantly. This is when they realize that she is a connect as well. Now, the boss of the organ harvesting gang wants to sell Lisa for a large amount of money, but she has other plans. In the blink of an eye, she breaks from her bondage and attacks the guys with her impressive moves. Then at an opportune moment, she escapes from the place. Meanwhile, Inspector Jang and the cops go through the pictures retrieved from Wujin and finally learn of Jin Siop's address. They also watch the surveillance footage of X being abducted, and on a closer look, realize that it was Jin Siop disguised as Dong So. With this, it becomes clear to them that Jin Siop is the actual murderer. One of the cops suggests sending the SWAT team there, but Jang decides to go there himself. On the other hand, it's 11 p.m., and Dong So heads to the location where he was called to. He knows that Jin Siop is dying of cancer and will have little chance in one-on-one -on -one combat. However, little did he know that Jin Siop is known for his impressive brain, and not his fighting skills. After a while, Jin Siop arrives, donned in a hazmat suit. He then releases a poisonous gas, which instantly makes breathing difficult for Dong So. After a while, he starts coughing vigorously, and passes out. When he wakes up, he finds himself inside a car, tied to a chair. Jin Siop is driving, and with the two alone, he finally opens up about his killing addiction. He reveals that since he doesn't have many days to live, he wants everyone to know how it feels to be hopeless and scared. Moreover, he also likes when people scream in agony. Dong So, who is half-conscious, is hearing all this with desperation and anger. He tries digging deep to break his shackles, but the poisonous gas has made him too weak for now. In the next scene, we see Lisa heading to a circus alone. One of the organ harvesters has tailed her there, but Lisa quickly approaches him from behind and finishes him off. Then, she heads to a secluded part of the circus area, where an eight-feet giant is sleeping. It turns out that the giant is also a connect who has healing abilities. He is so tall and deformed that he can't even speak the normal language. Lisa tells him the time to take action has come, and the two depart from the place. Elsewhere, Dong So finally wakes up and has regained his strength. Next to him, he sees the deformed body of the surgeon hung up on a pole. Jin Siop arrives and reveals that he plans to make a sculpture out of the surgeon soon. After this, he goes to a room and wheels a barely breathing X out. Dong So is devastated to see his favorite musician in this condition. He starts apologizing to him for putting him in this condition. But as expected, X doesn't understand anything. Hence, Dong So explains that X was kidnapped only to lure him to this place. He also reveals that Jin Siop is the murderer who has been wreaking havoc in the city. Meanwhile, Jin Siop finally reveals his evil intentions. Since the cancer inside his body is incurable, he wants to have Dong So's body to become immortal. The plan is to connect his head to Dong So's body, to test if the procedure will work. He cuts a finger each from Dong So's as well as X's hand. Then, he exchanges the two sets of fingers. Surprisingly, both of them are connected instantly because of Dong So's healing skills. After the successful experiment, Jin Siop turns on the cooling system and leaves the heads off to prepare himself. After a while, when Dong So comes to his senses, he notices the room in a near-frozen state. Next to him, X seems to be unconscious, so Dong So starts calling out his name. X finally wakes up but he barely has any energy left in him. Still, he apologizes for getting in the way of Dong So's investigation before passing away. The death of his favorite singer angers Dong So so much that he finally gets the required energy to break free from his shackles. He then starts banging on the door to break it, and at the same time, Lisa, along with her giant friend also arrive outside. Jin Siop hears the loud banging sound and goes there to inspect. To his surprise, he encounters Lisa, who is also a connect. The two get into a fight and match each other stride for stride. But at the same time, someone arrives outside. It is Inspector Jang who has come with one of his subordinates. Jin Siop finishes off the ladder quickly and returns back to take care of the connects. Meanwhile, taking advantage of the distraction, Lisa frees Dong So and tells him to finish off the evil Jin Siop once and for all. After a while, the two finally go face to face. Jin Siop has a gun in hand and he fires at Dong So several times, but to no avail. The latter can now heal himself instantly, without breaking any sweat. After this, he reaches Jin Siop and starts beating him up. In the process, he also recovers his left eye back, leaving Jin Siop screaming in agony. But just as Dong So is about to kill him, Inspector Jang arrives at the scene. He requests Dong So to let Jin Siop go, despite the latter being a cold-blooded murderer. In return, he promises to wipe off all records of the connects. Dong So agrees, but just then, another problem arises. The national SWAT team has found out about the commotion, and has dispatched several hundred soldiers to take care of the situation. The show ends as Lisa and Dong So get out of the building, but they are soon surrounded by several helicopters. Subscribe for more video like this, turn on the notification, and leave a like and comment. Thank you.